Okay. So, in other news, uh, well, before we get into the other news, let me take you back in time real quick. The year was 2019. There was, you know, we didn't think about nothing called COVID-19. We didn't think about nothing about wearing masks and getting shots and boosters and things. You know what I'm saying? Working from home was a far-fetched idea for a lot of industries. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we just come off the high of, you know, Endgame doing two, two point something billion dollars. Movie industry is rocking. Everybody's going to the movies. We outside. And Disney's, you know, said, you know what? We, we, we got a successful Aladdin remake. We did the Lion King remake. We did, you know, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Jungle Book. Our next remake, live action, we're going to do a Little Mermaid. Everybody was like, okay, yeah, all right, I'm down for that. Who, who you going to get to do it? It was like, Haley Bailey. Everybody was like, Halle Berry? She a little too old. She a little, nah, you know, no offense, but Halle Berry, you know what I'm saying? She still look good, but we don't, no, 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 no. Haley Bailey. And, you know, people was like, who? You know, Chloe and Haley, you know, Beyonce signed them. They did, they did the national anthem at the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Big. They on, they on grownish. You know what I'm saying? They like, um, but she's black. Okay. <laughs> she, she can't, she can't be Ariel. Why not? Cause Ariel's not black. <laughs> And reality didn't didn't really hit that Ariel's not real. Right, yeah, it's not a real. But people fact. felt the way, and they had a hashtag, you know, not my Ariel, that went crazy on Twitter, went crazy, you know, went went just went bonkers. Everybody in the world went just ah, we, we can't have this. They're taking our jobs. Ah, you know, it's like re relax, white white. And surprisingly, it was white men. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, which could be for other reasons why they enjoyed Ariel being what she was, but we won't go into that. Yeah, right it says now. a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? However, it was surprisingly that it was so many white men that had so much to say about it. Um, and <laughs> shout out to Big John. Me and Big John spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? We had, we did a homie call back then in 2019. We talked about it when it was initially the outrage and the spark of, oh my God, they casted who, what, why, no, no offense. I'm not racist, but she can't do it. But I'm, I'm not racist, I swear. You know, it's just not that. It's just that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's fucking hilarious that people are having a problem with it. Um, so my outlook is a few things. So one, I didn't know about this thing until my man Bishop. Bishop actually sent me a post about mm -hmm. people complaining about it. And I was like, what's, what's the big deal? And so literally, like, before, all the, before all the videos came out or, or people were making their own two cents on it, literally my message to him directly was, bro, I didn't know a mythical creature could have a race. Like, <laughs> a fucking mermaid. Like, there's no such thing as white, black, or anything else. It's a fucking mermaid. Mm -hmm. So, like, I thought that was hilarious. Then, on top of that, I mean, if you go with, like, if you go in, in, like, just in general, like, my man Sebastian got the accent. <laughs> I mean, that, like, I always thought they're from the Caribbean in the first place, anyway. Like, as, as a kid growing up, because Sebastian had the, had, had the fucking reggae accent and he had mm -hmm. the Jamaican going on. You know, and there was tropical fish all around. Like, I just, I thought they were from the Caribbean. I didn't even think, like, another area. I know some people started saying, like, Sweden or Denmark or something like that, which, I mean, then I don't get where that accent came from. Like, that, 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 that lobster or crab. Is he a lobster or a crab? I think he was, a, I think he was Sebastian the Crab. I thought he was a crab, too. I see a lot of people referring to lobster. Yeah. mixed because he has the head, so you can't really tell. He has, like, a shrimp head. <laughs> but anyway, like, like, he don't travel that far, so. Right. From, like, I thought they were from the Caribbean anyway. And then, so like I said, the more important though, it's a mythical creature. Like there's nothing wrong with a mythical creature. Like I, I it's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious that people are finding it offensive. Um, so I think that's just like fucking, but I mean, it shows you how far we've, we have not gone that we think we have. Like we, like we think we've made progress overall. We like, you know, to a point, they're no longer hosing people of color down in the street and shit, but <laughs> we, we really haven't made much progress. If you look right. at it, like it's just, it's sad as fuck. And then, you know, COVID happened, the world changed, you know, stuff happened and it kind of died down, you know, but I forgot, you know, and then 2022, we here now, and the trailer dropped, ah. and everybody was reminded, she's, a, she's not my Ariel, <laughs> we can't have her because she doesn't look like Ariel, Ariel is a white, you know, and, and they, the, the outrage is back again, and one of the things that stood out to me before I get y'all, you know, was, um, 
to to defend the non racistness <laughs> people were saying scientifically with the little mermaid can, can we also just mention that just from from a, from a scientific perspective okay it doesn't make a lot of sense to have someone with darker skin who lives deep in the ocean i mean if anything i mean not only should the little mermaid be pale she should actually be translucent if you look at deep sea creatures they're like translucent they have no kind of pigmentation whatsoever and they're just like these horrifying they look like skeletons floating around in the ocean that's what the little mermaid should look like she should be totally pale where and skeletal where you can see her skull through her face and that would actually be a version of little mermaid that i would watch scientifically not because i'm not racist but scientifically so the science it, 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 of being a mermaid look like that and it, once again scientifically you got to be reminded that mermaids don't are fictional yeah that, that's like science like <laughs> but science. they want to ignore that science and as well right. as the science yeah. of a talking crab yeah you know and a talking he, he, fish. Could, he, he could be west indian though. he could be right he could be caribbean it was jamaican yeah he was the science part of it is the funniest defense because they're not racist when they say that they're they're thinking about science and we all know again nowadays we trust the science right that's what we do now after covid we trust the science so science says she can't be black it's not right i'm not i'm not saying don't get me wrong i, I love black my best friend is black you know what i'm saying <laughs> but it's just that she can't do it because science you know what I mean? Science <laughs> says she can't. Come on, we can't have a black mermaid. They don't look like that. Like, no, that wouldn't work. So the outrage is here. This too is a layered discussion. Uh, -uh. uh like I said, we, we've been talking about. Like I said, it, it first sparked in 2019 when they announced it, but now that people see it, they saw the teaser trailer. You know, she 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 looked great. She looked great as the little scene you see. She come out the water. She has that young face still that looks yeah. like an innocent, you know, mermaid compared to the, the Listen, real life. And I think what it boils down to, I think white people are just scared that they're no longer important. You know what I mean? They want to be the all top of everything. They want the the prior roles for everything. That it's just white people are freaking out because you know they not they they get windled out. So let's they're be becoming honest. the minority. But it's yeah, science, and they Tiffany. don't like it. <laughs> not about them, Tiffany. It's about the science. Science. Mm, Mermaids yeah. wouldn't look like that. Is what they're saying. There was a comment. I I don't know who said it specifically, but it was interesting and it started like a whole conversation behind it. They mm -hmm. said you want to throw out um referencing to black people. Say you want to throw our ancestors in the ocean and mm -hmm. then be mad. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that. I, like, okay, I heard that one. I ain't mad at that. I was I was hit for that comment. So. <laughs> So, Jared, talk to me. What what you what you, what you think about that? How how you feel about uh Haley Bailey, not Halle Berry, and not Chloe Bailey. And not Chloe Bailey cuz people confuse them too. <laughs> what about to Bailey as Ariel, the fictional little mermaid. Talk to me. I'm going to be real short with this one. We're right. talking about a damn fictional character. <laughs> a fictional character. A character that did not exist. In history, we talk about a fictional. We talk about practice. Talk about practice. Right. Not the game. Not the game. We talk about game. practice. Talk about practice. <laughs> Bro, what's like, your thoughts on that? Oh, oh Jared, I'm sorry. Were you done? Jared? You said you're gonna be short. I didn't know you got. Thing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My fault. My fault. Yeah. You've had Kyle. No, I'm gonna call him Kyle. We've had white people mm -hmm. of all types mm -hmm. play actual people. <laughs> so I was gonna, I was gonna mention that, but go, go right. ahead. But then, right. no complaints there. Mm -hmm. But let Michael B. Jordan be Black Superman. Mm -hmm. yeah, clutch my pearls. Let Haley mm -hmm. Bailey be Little Mermaid. Ariel, clutch my pearl. Yeah. Like we had, I mean, granted, fictional character, Scarface, Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Guess what? He played somebody that's Cuban. Like you couldn't find nobody that was Latino to play that. Exactly. Character. Ah, of course. So mm -hmm. it's all good when it's all white. But hey, mm -hmm. absolutely. Rel, talk to me. I mean, I it's. It's not really much more to say. I mean, I, I think, I think for one, they they're afraid because she's gonna do the Little Mermaid better than the Little Mermaid has ever been done, and they know oh, that. Like, oh, yeah. they, they, they they know that like that little 
white fish that was animated <laughs> is not going to be able to hold a candle. Like, so, like you know, the Little Mermaid has a million songs in it. Ariel sang the whole motherfucking movie. So <laughs> now, when you have this girl with them, them kind of pipes and that talent, it's, like, it's like what was the point of even the point yeah. of that even existing? What, yeah. what they're gonna they're gonna see this and be like, they're gonna be so tight. They're gonna be like, yo, like she really like we said she couldn't do it, but she did it though. Like she, mm-hmm. like, like she, she like OD did it, and and it was so awesome to see all the little black girls getting hyped watching the um watching the trailer, talking about mm-hmm. oh she looks like me, and I'm like because that representation obviously definitely um matters, and that's what I really loved about it. But again, to Jared's point, we have you know all these white people playing Egyptians and Africans back <laughs> in the day, and right, you know right. and, and all this. But let let a black well, let a little, young black woman play a, a, a fictional character. I mean, I can see if there was really actual mermaids, but Ariel wasn't a real one. <laughs> then I, then maybe right. I then I, you know, but like there's really no such thing as a whole thing. So 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 it's like you know, a mermaid can't be black white because the last one you saw wasn't like <laughs> um, you you've never seen saw a mermaid, bro. Like yeah. what like. So I mean, I, I I really can't wait to see how tight they like when they when they really they gotta give it up, they're gonna be in that in the theater like, like, I ain't gonna clap, but <laughs> isn't it I mean, the... I, mean, I mean honestly, just li- I mean you listen to the Shorty, I don't even know who Shorty was, it was even voicing Ariel back then. But like, you know, you put her up against Hallie, it's like it's not even a thing. Like we're like what, what is what are we doing here? I think the original person who did voiceover gave um, her her props. You know, I think that um, the most important thing is to tell the story. And I think that from the spirit of a character is what really matters. Um, what you bring to the table um, in a character as far as their heart and their spirit is what really counts. And the outside package because let's face it, I'm really, really old. And so, like when I'm singing Part of Your World, um, if you were to judge me by the way that I look on the outside, it might change the way that you interpret the song. But if you close your eyes, you can still hear the spirit of area. So I think the most important thing um, is for a film is to be able to tell a story. We need to be storytellers. And no matter what we look like on the outside, no matter our race, our nation, our color of skin, our dialect, whether I'm tall or thin, whether I'm overweight or underweight, or my hair is whatever color, I, we really need to tell the story. And that's what we want to do. We want to make a connection to the audience. So I know for Disney, that they have the heart of storytelling. That's really what they're trying to do. They want to communicate with all of us in the audience so that we can fall in love with the film again. But how much on the video that was posted, it got like what, over like 2 million dislikes? Dislikes. Or something like that, it's crazy to me. Like. Well, Disney literally just dropped their first trailer for the Woke Little Mermaid film, the film that has already received a massive amount of backlash online, particularly because of the red flags that we have seen with them choosing to go woke over telling a good story. This is a problem that Disney has really suffered from a lot over the past few years as we continue to see remake after remake, movie after movie that Disney puts out get completely ratioed on on YouTube. So as you can see, that is exactly what is happening here with The Little Mermaid. It currently sits at 36,000 downvotes compared to 25,000 upvotes because it's very evident, it's very clear that they have no intention of honoring the source material or telling a good story. The thing that they are most focused on are their political agendas, their political ideologies, and the woke messaging. So I haven't actually watched this yet. Let's go ahead and take take a glance at this here. 
Now, I'm just going to say this right here, okay? I don't ultimately have a problem with Black Mermaids or anything like that, okay? That isn't what the root issue is here. The root issue is that we continue to see this happening with things like, you know, Rings of Power is a great recent example where we can look at that. We can see the things that were important to the producers and the showrunners for that. And now we see just how crappy of a show Rings of Power actually is because they didn't actually focus on telling a good story story that wasn't the most important thing to the people that were creating the rings of power story compared that to peter jackson who made lord of the rings and the things that he found actually important like you know a good story so when it comes to things like this okay do i have a problem with black mermaids no do i have a problem with black elves talking about rings of power no, my problem is, is that you, you still have to honor the context of what these stories are, what are taking place in. Okay. I'm not racist or anything, obviously, but this isn't, this is just another red flag of what, what is Disney is actually finding important. And that is their, their messaging, their agenda and everything else. That, that goes to show how much hatred is that's real so in this world. Yeah, that's so Listen, that girl bodied that trailer yeah. okay. yeah. and that was just a teaser and, like, and she, she's an aries <laughs> like, she oh, oh. hands down bodied it i don't know if i like the fact that she's an aries but whatever but anyway like, she, bodied hey, hey, the hey. Fucking, she bodied the like her singing the image i love yeah. the fact yeah. that again Sebastian is Jamaican. He has a Jamaican hat. The, the way they did her braids, like it, like it was just, it was executed to the fucking T. And now you know me, I have an obsession with mermaids. I love mermaids. Right. And like I said, people's like mermaids don't exist. How you know? The whole ocean has not been explored. <laughs> I'm going to just throw well, that out. Only 5% right of the ocean has been explored. <laughs> Thank you. Way. So, it, and you know what? They might be transition and Science. motherfucking ugly. So, you know what? But it's okay. I'm okay. She could be <laughs> green. She could be purple. She could be yellow. I don't give a fuck. Right. Execute the movie because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. And right. I think she definitely embodied the character. And it's, to, I never had an issue with it when, and it was just, and I'm here for it because like, you know, like he said, representation, because even like in the future for Black Panther, the Latino community being empowered, I'm like, okay, I'm not Mexican, but I definitely, I, I fall in that Latino community and it, and it does something to you. It, it does something to you where it kind of like, I'm like, oh God, there's a little tear coming out. Like it does yeah. something yeah. for you. So for these young women, you know, of, you know, the, you know, young black women, young Latino women, like it, it does something for you. Like the Afro Latino women, like these young girls, it does something. It empowers you. And I am here for it. Like a hundred percent. And like I said, mermaids are real. I don't give a fuck what anybody <laughs> says. And that's that. Thank you. But with, with Sebastian being, um, West Indian. Wasn't Ursula a black woman too? I, I mean, know. she did. I'm sorry. She gave me black. black Thank you. Vibes. So <laughs> when, they made it, when, when they made more sense for her to have but they black was cool with that. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't when, bring the uh, science up for that. They didn't need science to say. You know what's crazy though? Isn't it fucking Jenny McCarthy? Wait, hold on. One at time. One at time. What you said, Michelle? The live one they did. Queen Latifah played Ursula, right? So I think on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Who's playing her in the movie? I think it's Jenny McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. There you go. But it's okay though. Like that makes no sense. Like that just makes no sense. Because she's white and scientifically. Why? Scientifically, she's accurate. I don't know, like, it's closer to purple and white. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's on my bucket list for my Halloween, you know, costumes, but she was a big, voluptuous woman. Like, that mm -hmm. yeah, she was giving me life. Like, she needed that <laughs> silver hair. Like, that bitch right. was giving me life. Louis, so, chime in. What you, what you got for this topic, Lou? So, uh, so everyone is using science. <laughs> you weren't using science when COVID is around. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't follow science then. So either, like, you can't pick and choose when you want to do science, one, first of all. <laughs> Two, please, I, I would love for the people who don't want to be mermaid, little Ariel, find me somebody who can do better. And I'm going to say no. And that's the funny thing. Nobody's saying, I'm sorry. why not right. this person? Well, well, just, this one should be the... Yeah. Yeah. They're just saying, not, they no, not, not her. Why was she the perfect star for the new Little Mermaid 2.0? Such a good question. You know... We saw everybody, 
And ironically... Who else did you see? Can't say that. <laughs> but we saw everybody. But I will say that um, Hallie was the first person we saw. First person for this role. Really? I had seen her on the Grammys, and I asked if she could come in to see if she could, you know, do this. And I remember at the end of her singing this song, Part of Your World, that we just heard her sing today, um, I was in tears. And I thought, oh, my gosh, she's so deep and so emotional and so beautiful. Um, she set that bar very high, and no one ever crossed that bar but her. So she claimed the role for herself. And then, you know, we went through a lot of auditions and a lot and screen tests and to really see what she could bring because she's this is not something she was 18 when she auditioned she she's not a seasoned actor but when you see her in this film she seems like a seasoned actor she is the range she brings is extraordinary and and uh, i am i'm just so happy that people will be able to see her work and and i'm sorry we live in an age where diversity matters representation representation matters mm. i'm like not for white I, people I, I, I applaud Disney for Disney taking a stand because this is a perfect movie to make that separation. Yeah. You know, like, you know, we, we saw a little bit with the Lion King when we had, you know, everyone pretty much all color there and they flipped out a little bit. But since it was, you know, semi live animals, it, they really didn't get too, too rowdy about it. Mm -hmm. But now Disney's taking that step and then we're moving forward. I mean, they, they got we got half of it. All right. The prince is white. Y'all won a little bit. The prince <laughs> is going to be a white dude. Like, be happy with that. So, yeah, one, if you're going to use science, use it all the way through. You can't use science when it benefits you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And two, let, can, can we see the product first? Can we see it? Like, right. let, let, if it bombs, feel free to attack. <laughs> but like Ralph said, it's not going to. This is gonna, she's going <laughs> to blow it bombs, out of the water. It's not because she's black. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you yeah. know if it bombs, that's going to be wild. They're going to blame it on it. See, we told you. <laughs> so, so, Pete, so, so here's the hook, because everyone agrees, you know, we've seen white people, you, you know, play roles of fictional characters that weren't, you know, white yeah. or what have you. They've also done non-fictional characters. They've had white people take the role of actual real people. The, the closest one I could think of was Argo. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Yeah, right. Right. Yep. played the role of um, Tony Mendez, a Mexican man. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and this is a real person. He really, he's a, like, he really, really, really exists. So it's right. not even just, you know, fictional characters or as Michelle yeah. said, you know, just not found characters. But not found, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they deep down in the water. They're under the sea, under deep the down. sea. But Tony Mendez, a Mexican man, you know, born Mexican, wife Mexican, was born, lived down in, in Nevada, like, and Ben Affleck wrote, directed, and produced the movie and said, I'll do it. I'll be Mexican. You couldn't find a Mexican? Like, you couldn't find someone <laughs> to play it? Nah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And, I mean, and no, are 100% and, Mexican and American actors. Like, yeah, and nobody <laughs> brought up <laughs> science. Really nobody brought up the science or the literal, nope. you know, <laughs> uh, 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 census of it. Like, right. we can't cast a person of this is always going to be a problem so this is yeah. always going to be a problem yeah no matter because i mean you know they were saying that I, I i i think his name is giancarlo um I forgot his, yes who he's yeah. supposed to be uh Best xavier Professor Some people want him to be um, Charles people Xavier. People fucking flipping their lid. Yeah. I mean, I I loved him and you know and Mando. I was like, all right, here we go. But like. They're just, they're like, no, like, no, like, that's just unacceptable. It's like, when they're throwing around um, this dude being Bond, um, it's just Alba being it's just Bond. Alba. Oh, I'm yes. here for mm -hmm. it. I am here for it. That's they, just I mean, they, they settled, I'm here for it. Yeah. She was 007 for like 20 minutes. Like, right. <laughs> but even that was too much. I mean, it was like, she can't be the new 007. And it's a woman? Oh, hell <laughs> And it's a black woman? No way. She can't I mean, the same it. thing happened when, um, when they did Hamilton. Mm -hmm. They they really didn't like that re representation either. But they show was selling out a lot of tickets though. <laughs> but they show sold a lot of tickets. <laughs> they you know say so again to the to, to you know once the product drops it's like so we gonna forget about science now because this is she's she's body right. in this role yeah because like, this is tough so we can we, yeah, we can kind of <laughs> kind of stop <laughs> complaining when we like yo this is <laughs> this is good work but I I feel like you know like we said representation. Um, 
and 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 there's so there's also a narrative of you know black people taking quote unquote sloppy seconds of oh okay of saying. Hollywood and in America. Saying. So mm-hmm. how do you feel? How do y'all feel about? Because some I, I see people online saying they uh, they prefer us to to get original characters not just take over the existing characters and so so some of the, so some black people are, are actually on the side of she shouldn't play it because they should create original characters and stuff for it. How, how do y'all how do y'all feel about that I, I, I can understand that but just look at this for the sloppy seconds look at the outrage <laughs> you know like how sloppy is it if everybody <laughs> yeah. if, if everybody is on, up in arms and twitter hashtags and, mm-hmm. and, and, and you know and, and, and all that like how sloppy is it really you know right. so um <laughs> but I, I i can understand that standpoint mm-hmm. but i feel like at the end of the day too that visibility is powerful and unfortunately we have maybe about maybe a couple black studios that may be able to get her visible enough to where she can touch that amount of um people mm-hmm. so you know I, I get both sides of it but i feel like also if it, if it was that whack everybody would be like oh she's she gonna be little more right whatever but nah they give a whole fuck even like <laughs> what was it um i think her name is anna damaris she's i believe she's mexican or cuban not too sure she's playing marilyn monroe marilyn Monroe. and people were like don't get me wrong the makeup job fucking phenomenal she looks mm-hmm. amazing but they're like, oh, well, Marilyn was white. And I'm like, actually, if you do your history, Marilyn was actually Spanish, bitch. She was Mexican descent. So again, I'm here for it. I am here for it. So, but again, representation is just, it's so big. It's so big on so many, so many cultures. Like even in Marvel, when Shang-Chi was going to be like, oh, it's going to get whitewashed. The fact that it was a whole Asian cast mm-hmm. and it didn't get whitewashed, I applaud it. Because it's like finally, mm-hmm. you're, you're getting and, and I, representations in every level, in every culture, and every demographic. Like it's just, it's it's mind blowing, but it's great not only for the youth, but even for us, for like mm-hmm. our generation, you know. Mm-hmm. And I say yeah, this, look, going back to our previous segment, you got to kick that door down when you can't. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you can't let opportunities like this pass by. Like all right, it's gonna rub some people the wrong way, and mm-hmm. they're not gonna like it. But she went ahead, full throttle, and went through that door. Like, all right, I may lose some followers. I may lose some followings. You know, some girls might not buy my Disney merch, but for the little black girls, little Spanish girls at home mm-hmm. that have never seen somebody of their color yeah, on exactly. screen, on a Disney show, on okay, a Disney and, product. And then even like when the first, di- like what was, uh, Princess and the Frog is the first like- Yeah, they had problems there. That yeah. fucking yeah. blue, that mm-hmm. blue, because it's, you see these little girls like, wow, there's someone like me, you exactly. know? And I think and and this, this, the announcement, the, the announcement was, I believe, like 2019 and Black Panther came out 2018. So that was the first time where they saw all black cast, black director, yeah. black production, and it made money because that was the thing. Oh, well, we can't really, you know, monetize black, you know, actors right. and, and films and staff and, and films. And, you know, and they learned the same thing. They said that about Asians, you know, crazy rich Asians, yeah. they crazy numbers, Black Panther, the crazy. Num- so now they, so they was like, okay. And like you said, seizing the moment off the heels of Black Panther being so successful, being a, a billion plus, then they said, Haley Bailey's going to, and, and they kind of, and the, 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 the white people was like, we like that black, we like, what, what? Like they, they, they woke up real quick to it. It was like the Black Panther movie was cool, but wait a minute now, I don't, I don't like this one. And then, and then it's funny to hear that's their rebuttal you know well what if a white guy played black panther well that's the catch it's a part of the literal story and the right. plot and the that essence it was a of the character man. and it was a man like, <laughs> you like, know not a, not so a, that's the a, difference fish. when you have you know i don't know race gender and what have you being this a part Robert of the story black man and everybody was can't it. change it you know that's part of the narrative it's part of the plot you know it's literally black Panther, like it's in the name. It's not White Mermaid. It's the Little Mermaid. So they had to make a little. You know, as long as she's I mean, little, and, and as long as she's a mermaid, they got it. It's not Wild Bay. <laughs> you, you know, and it's the, the Little Mermaid. mermaid. And, but, and, know, I'm looking at the cast, and the cast is ridiculous. It's all over the place. Mm-hmm. Who's playing Asian Prince Indians? Eric? Who's playing who? Prince Eric. Um, Jonah. 
Hubert King, white as hell. Never heard of him. I was about to say Jonah Hill. I was about to say, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's I mean, he weird, just huh? slimming down. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah Hubert King. Don't know where he's from, but all right. But, but Jack, and like, who's the who's King? I'm sorry, Jack, 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 but who's King Triton again? It's um, uh, Javi, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Javier Bondardo. Like so that. they got he's like French oh, Italian or something. Him. He's black. Yes, Melissa McCartney, right. like so they got they covering everybody. Yeah, but all yeah. they care is Aquafina's in it. Aquafina plays the the seagull. Okay, so you got Asian. You got the gender bandit. They got they got yeah. everybody. They're covering everybody. So again, Devonte Diggs is playing Sebastian. Lin Manuel Miranda is involved. The, the V Diggs. That's my man from um from from Blind Spotting. That I like yeah, that Hamilton. dude. Yeah, yeah and Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. I, I rock okay, with him. Okay. That's what I'm saying. They got they got okay. everybody. So again, just like the cartoon was. Right, because <laughs> we all we all said Ariel was white in the cartoon. Sebastian was was you know Caribbean. You know, yeah. the, the and even tone, like, even the prince in the, in the in the movie, he was like olive tone with mm -hmm. blue eyes. Like he wasn't white. So it's the same thing, but science only That's wants right. us to focus on the Little Mermaid, not the White Mermaid, not the Ginger Mermaid, which is another thing. The Ginger community is saying, well, why they couldn't get a Ginger person to play her? And it's like, well, who you got in mind? Yeah, right. I'll exactly. wait. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait. Remember, no, no, remember, they would have said, nah, put, put a wig on Shorty or, or um, <laughs> dye her hair or something. Right. Remember, remember the two minutes of anger, and then literally the two minutes of anger that existed with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. Was Ghost in the Shell. Um, was it a, a, a sign language movie? She was going to be a, like a deaf person? No, Ghost in the Shell. Oh, no, it was another, it was another movie I was thinking of. Um, was it Scarlett Johansson? Somebody was gonna play like either a transgendered person or something, and they wanted oh, to I don't know about well, that, get somebody man. from the channel to the community to do it. And, and, and again, but you got somebody who's playing a white woman who's playing a, a, a Japanese character, yeah, yeah. You know, like it was two minutes of anger, but it was mm. two minutes of anger. And then like, the movie just sucked once again. The movie wasn't that great, so they, it everybody kind of was, 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 was white, was white yeah. woman, the movie was, was bad. but yeah, nobody brought up science, nobody, you know, nobody. nobody yeah. Not even that. We got people. I mean, there's a dark history to shit. People were in, people were blackface. White people were blackface mm -hmm. all throughout the 20s, 30s, and 40s, 20s, 20s, and, and they were black, black people around on stage. Mm -hmm. Like, and and, and and not just blackface, they were also yellowface. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was I, I was trying to find I was trying to find the the, um, the the video, and I finally found it. You know what? You're right. I mean, just imagine. Imagine if they cast Angelina Jolie as Afro-Latina woman Marion Pearl. Or if they cast white actor Jack Palance as Cuban Fidel Castro. Or if they got the white actor Ben Affleck to play the Mexican-American man Antonio J. Mendez. Or if they got the white actress Elizabeth Taylor to play the Egyptian Cleopatra. Or a white actor like Jim Sturgis playing Asian-American Jeffrey Ma. Or if they got white actor Sean Connery to play Moroccan Malai Ahmed Arasuni. Or if they put little white Shirley Temple in blackface as a slave child. Or they cast white actor Joseph Fiennes to play black man Michael Jackson. Or even if they got white actor Johnny Depp to play a Native American man. <gasps> or white Welsh actress Catherine Zeta-Jones to play Griselda Blanco. Or could you even imagine them putting white actress Catherine Hepburn in yellowface to play a Chinese farmer? <gasps> I mean, we couldn't imagine white actress Jennifer Connelly playing a Salvadorian. Alicia Nash, right? Or white actor John Wayne playing the Mongolian Genghis Khan? Or white actor Christian Bale playing the Egyptian Hebrew Moses? Or perhaps Marlon Brando as Emiliano Zapata? I mean, no one could ever imagine white actor Fred Astaire in blackface playing Billy Robinson, right? Or Juliette Binoche playing a Chilean Maria Segovia? Or white actor Scarlett Johansson playing Major Motoko Kusanagi? In Ghost in the Shell. Or even imagine, if you will, white actor Jake Gyllenhaal playing the Prince of Persia. <gasps> or even Jamie Lannister cast as the Egyptian god Horus. America's sweetheart Emma Stone playing Alison Ng. British actor and hardest name to pronounce ever, Benedict Cumberbatch playing Khan. I mean, no one would ever cast a white actor to play Goku, right? I mean, there are cases like Mina Savari, who played Brandy Bosky, who was based on an African-American woman, but at least they put her in cornrows, right? Or Kevin Spacey's part in Pay It Forward that's based on a black man named Ruben St. Clair. 
Nora from Warm Bodies, who's described in the book as half Ethiopian. Oscar-winning Sir Anthony Hopkins, playing a light-skinned black man, passing for white. Irene from Drive. In the book, she's Latina. Oh, look, there's Jim Sturgis again, pretending to be Asian. There's also Josh Hartnett playing an Inuit. Do we even need to discuss the cast of The Last Airbender? Of course, who can forget Mickey Rooney's yellow face as Mr. Yunioshi in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Laurence Olivier playing the Moorish King Othello. The entire Carradine family playing Asian. And those are only the ones I could fit in three minutes. No one has to imagine. When you got, I love Sean Connery. But how does, how, like, how is Sean Connery some Egyptian dude? You know? yeah. Like, I love Marlon Brando, I, I, you know, but John Wayne. The John Wayne played the Asian The Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Genghis Khan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're talking Again, about practice. A historical figure. A historical figure, like, these is real people, and this yeah. is real depiction of historical characters. So, so again, that's what I said. When we we started the conversation, we were talking about, oh, they play fiction. It's bigger than just fictional characters. Like, we got... Exactly. And you could say back then, you know, there wasn't enough black or Cuban or whoever acted. Oh, because okay. y'all wasn't letting them niggas do nothing. Right. Like, but like, guess like, what? Like, Basically. It made it seem like... It made it seem like they were out there and, and, and auditioning and y'all were letting people know. Y'all, right. y'all, they, they, they weren't allowed to be in movies. And, and, and once again, that goes back to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's y'all doing that. That's right. the problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> so now when we do get a chance to, to things, spread the wealth, y'all still have a problem. How many situations do they create and then be tight? Right. Like they do that all the time, right? <laughs> I don't and and that's the biggest thing. And, I'm, and I'm glad, like it's like historically blackface and yellow face, like you know, it, it's like fan. Even and even in the music, you know, what I'm saying if you watch, you know, the, the historical movies, like the Elvis documentary is out, you know, biopic is out, and they showed how you know he went to the to the black clubs and he learned the songs and sung their songs, and we know even back in the days, you know. They would have a black person do the song, cut the record and everything, and they put white guys yep. on the cover. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the music industry, the movie industry, like uh, once again, y'all want to talk industry about how we've progressed in life and how we've, you know, but to then here's your opportunity to show it. But yet y'all want to keep saying, I'm not racist. It's science though. It's not me. It's science. Like, no, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly you. Don't blame the science. It's you. And yeah. it's a cartoon character being yeah. brought to life. So all of place. these grown men online complaining about this animated character and this Disney princess is oh, a little baby, scary to me. Like, Got why sick. he's grown Got men? Sick. He's so... Being gross, just a little bit. Yeah, like, why are y'all so aggressive about this Disney princess? And I'm going to trigger Michelle right quick. I'm going to trigger Michelle. Uh, Don't, so do Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself, boy. It's a story about a girl who wanted to risk it all. Risk it all. She yeah. wanted to risk it all for love. Let the bitch risk it all oh, for love. That's fine. Risk it all for love, man. That's all. She's outside of this shit. I'm trying to go to some shit. Like, it's a garbage ass story, man. Listen, I mean, now that's I a whole other level. That's that's people, that's... Like, people, people are like, oh, what like when they ask me what's your favorite Disney movie, my sisters are like Beauty and the Beast, and then all this other shit. Of course, I'm like, I love Little Mermaid, and my sisters will shit on me. They're like, you you do know that she's just like after a guy, right? And I'm like, yeah, but Belle is Belle has like what do they call it? So, uh, it's a syndrome, like when you're literally you fall in love with your kidnapper. Oh, um, um Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm right, syndrome. Stockholm. I'm like, listen, I would rather fucking be chasing the man that I love than falling in love with the person that kidnapped me. Like, she wanted some legs, you know what I'm saying? She wanted, <laughs> and she wanted she some legs too. You know what? Don't touch her. Damn, really? Don't no, she saw somebody and she's like, oh yeah, I gotta get these legs real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Was it for love? I mean, she just saw him right. above was the it water. Love? You know what I'm saying? She, maybe she wanted to get it really moist. You know what I'm saying? So what you're saying is Ariel has the girl. real whop. <laughs> he does. <laughs> the original <laughs> No, I mean, literally, though. Literally. <laughs> I'm 
Ariel's for it. Happy, though, though. So, she happy. <laughs> like, like I said, listen, I'm still like, listen, it's in the works. I'm getting my mermaid tattoo in the future. Like, listen, like I'm here for mermaids. I'm upset. Okay. Listen, my my water bottle, they're fucking mermaids. Like I am <laughs> here for it. No doubt. And 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 to be honest, the mermaid history comes from. Nordic culture, you know, the Vikings and them back in the days, they said they saw Listen, people. this is a rabbit hole we so, could see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. We're not going to dive listen, into all there's that. There's mermaids and there's sirens. There's a difference. Maybe. I'm just saying, I'm just saying Possibly. You know. it, it, I haven't they, seen them. Science oh can't, you know, <laughs> I, oh boy. I don't know if they exist, but that, you know, Vikings and all that. Question. What happened? What happened to Did they get this crazy when um, Brandy played Cinderella? Yes. They did. Yeah, not, not, I mean, we, we didn't have Twitter and stuff back then, so there was no hashtag. Right. But yeah, they, I, I think they there did. was a lot of pushback when yeah. that happened, not for nothing. But then there was also pushback when the, the Spanish girl recently played um, Cinderella, and then the, the guy played this, the fairy godmother, who he's fabulous. I can't think of his name right oh, now. Oh, yeah, the black dude. Um, the black guy. He's fabulous. Um, I'm here. I, know, I forgot his name. Yeah, I can't remember his but, name. But like, they, they give pushback for that, too. So they're mm -hmm. always going to give pushback. Like with me, with this new guy that's playing Hercules, like, like, bro, you're not even buff enough to be Hercules. You like, you're not my Hercules. Hashtag, you're not my Hercules. I'm, I'm gonna just throw that out. Oh, it's my Roy Kent. Yeah. yeah. He's not buff enough. Like, he's it's CGI anyway. It's gonna be CGI. So, Michelle, what you're saying is the science it's not because of the science, science, is science. Not correlating with her, with Hercules. So like, got it's it. Not, it's not, not, not working. Not left all that with those. Got it, got it. I think you touched on it. I think, I think you touched on it, uh, Paul, with, you know, in terms of like people talking about sloppy seconds and so forth. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. we should have more character development or actually stories that tell things like, and I, and I will say like, it's a slow, it's been a slow process. And this mm -hmm. has been what, over a hundred years of cinema and so forth. <laughs> yeah. So, and, 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 and we just got some, we just got rights in 1960 something. So mm -hmm. it's been a slow development as, as time has gone on, but you know, it's like um, we had the movie Soul. Granted, you know, it's like it started in animation stuff. You know, mm -hmm. like you had Soul um, on Disney. You had um, um, Encanto and, and Coco. So you like a lot of things are going and the animated route first. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you start making like. But it, I would I would love to see you know a lot of original stories become like live action stuff. You know, like um, but it's 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 been a slow process. You, you're getting right. what you get, but at the same time. We're talking about practice, not the real game. So, you know, I just can't, I just can't get past that shit. And um, and the fact that who is the biggest mouse? Like we usually we always talk about Karen. It's the these smallest. Is, these is dudes. It's a lot of men. <laughs> like that's, that's the, very, a lot that's of Kens out there. Comfortable. Like, a lot of Kevin's out there. Yeah, some Kevin's. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so like, uncomfortable. Why are you yeah. so concerned with who plays this little mermaid? Little mermaid? Like, what are you? What's going on it's here? It's yeah, it's about not my area. You had an area to begin with, bro. You know, so why do you have an area? <laughs> that's, that's, that's it is very creepy. It's, it's just very creepy. behavior. It's it, it, yeah, behavior. and 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 this right now. Is, it's not going to change. You know, what I'm saying like we, we clearly see that you know they don't they're still in denial of the real reason they have an issue with it yeah you know we saw the outrage when there was a black santa claus at a mall and once again santa's not real not a real guy <laughs> not a real you guy saw the outrage with beyonce as nyla in, in the lion king oh okay, right i but mean yeah that was just like yo that... you can't even see her like like i mean it's like yo <laughs> but science you a know. line wouldn't sound like that. Y'all talking about <laughs> lines. Like, lines are not from Houston. Like, mad conversations with lines. <laughs> you know, know and, you know. and it's like, fam, y'all gotta stop, stop denying what the true, what the real, what the real problem is. You know what I'm saying? We're they should have had Jessica it. Alba play um, in The she Woman was King. Sue Storm. Yeah, she was Sue Storm in the no, Fantastic no. They should have had her play in The Woman King. <laughs> the Woman King. <laughs> By the way, Pretty good movie. We'll talk about that on, on yeah, upcoming I, I great pending. A lot of people are talking good about that movie. Yeah, yeah. We we, 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 we saw that. that movie, I'm gonna have to go watch it by myself. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, good, very good movie. Um we like I said, future episode, great pending. We definitely gonna talk about that. Um but yeah, um some people are mad, it's not their aerial, unfortunately. It's everybody's aerial, same way you know Obama wasn't their president. 
But right. he's, he's everybody's president. So same way some people like Trump. Trump wasn't their president, but yeah, he he, he was. So it, it worked both ways. It might not be your, but he's the. Yeah, yeah. So Haley, you know, I hope I hope they, you know, some people some people are up and down with the with the current um remakes. Some people like them, some people don't. Some people like them, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I'm personally myself. I'm not a fan of the live. I'm, I'm still, you know, I grew up on the old school ones. So like, there's there's a lot of the live or the new ones ever redone that I've just never even. Yeah, att- I, I've seen it. I, I like the Latin. I like Aladdin Lion King. Was Aladdin was really good. I didn't have a problem with. I I, I I like the fact that they're updating it for today's kids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like that they're modernizing it. They are taking some stuff out. Like Lion King, they took out one of the most important scenes of the whole. Story, you know, what when when um when uh, Rafiki hit him over the head and gave him the lesson about do you still feel the pain, you know. What was that? <laughs> the weather, <laughs> very peculiar, don't you think? Yeah, looks like the winds are changing. Ah, uh, change is good. Yeah, but it's not easy. I know what I have to do, but going back means I'll have to face my past. I've been running from it for so long. Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> yeah, but it still hurts. Oh, yes, the past can hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Ah! You see? So what are you going to do? First, I'm going to take your stick. No, 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 no! Not your stick! Hey! Where are you going? I'm going back! Good! Go on! Get out of here! <laughs> that was the, the hook of the movie. Like, uh, you this know new- what I'm saying? Well, yeah, violence. They had to, you know. He, he's a kid still, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, nah, but they're in the jungle, bro. Like, what do you mean it's violence? Like, like, it's the like, law of the land. Like, <laughs> but yeah, know. that scene when he hit him over the head and he was like, you know, he's still for the pain and, you know, kind of getting over it. Now I, I had to go back and take your kingdom, dog. They, yeah. they, 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 they chopped that scene down and took that that bar out of it. And, and that was one of the most important parts. And I'm watching, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I was sitting here for this. I was waiting for this. Like, they, y'all got yeah. well, So the movie was still good, but, you know, that, and, and for anybody that would have never seen the cartoon and it's their first, you know, right. view of it, I think, right. yeah, kids would Definitely enjoy it. They wouldn't know that. what they're missing. Yeah. And, you know, us being uncles, aunts, moms, and dads, we can show them the original as well, and, and we can let the kids decide. Kids today might want the newer technology, you know what I'm saying, with the updated okay. CGI. Yeah, that's my rule. I told my people. kid, you can't see a remake unless you see the original. <laughs> Some people, you know, it, it all depends. Let, let the child choose. Let the child choose. You know no. What I mean? But um, that's all we got for today. Like I said, the conversation continues. This is a conversation that started three years ago. <laughs> and, and we're here talking about it it's now. True. Conversation continues. And then the movie comes out next year, 2023. So we will talk about it again then because yeah. we're going to see them box office numbers going to really tell you whose mm-hmm. Ariel it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the money talks. The money going to talk and the money going to say she's she's our Ariel. We're going to do the, the sequel and the trilogy. and the, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're going to roll with that.